If you're wondering why my makeup looks like this, well, no reason. Hi everyone, what's up? It's whatever, and today, well, ugh, I blame TikTok. I actually have no idea who originally made the video on TikTok that kind of started this little mini trend or anything. So sorry, I don't even remember which video I saw first because I'm pretty sure I saw it on a TikTok compilation on YouTube. That was a mouthful. So yeah, today we're just gonna be styling my leg hair. I'm gonna do a couple different styles. Materials, very important. First things first, leg hair. We're gonna be using the inner right leg hair because the left side is even more disappointing than the right. And then also I picked up hair gel from the dollar store, a toothbrush, and some snacks. Snacks are optional, but highly recommended. There they are. Look at them in all their little glory. They're so faint on camera. Step one, apply gel to leg hair. Whew, my hip is already cramping, but that also might have something to do with the fact that it is that time of the month. I'm not really sure why God bothered giving me a uterus when I have no intention of using it, so I guess you could say it will be under uterized. Ooh, hello. I'm gonna try the classic one which is the wavy, the wavy. So people just kinda Ooh, it's kinda working. All right. I'm kinda wondering if maybe I need to put a little more gel on just simply because some of these hairs are kinda sticking up. Hang on, I'm gonna put more gel in my legs on my legs. Okay, oh God, no, it's stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck. Attempt number two. Here we go. It's kind of working. Actually looks pretty good on this little part right here. Maybe my toothbrush is the thing that's wrong. So I went back and looked at some of the TikToks and I realized a lot of them use a spoolie instead of a toothbrush and that would have been a lot more effective later on. So I was gonna say you live and you learn, but I guess the real lesson here is if you pay attention and prepare, you do better, um, yeah. Did you see me waving? <laughs> I wonder what happens if I put gel directly on the toothbrush. Maybe that will help. I'm not really sure. Ooh, that kind of does help. I'm trying to get little tighter waves now. I'm trying to ironically get the waves kind of in a straight, like a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> that made no sense. Ooh. Does that work? <gasps> cool. I have no idea how I'm going to explain this video to my friends. But they know I'm weird, so I don't think it should be that hard. I just still have social anxiety for some reason. Look at that. Look at those little waves in there. Yes. This is what I wanted to see. This is what we wanted. I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work out because this toothbrush is a little long in the brush area to be making really tight little turns, but we'll see, okay? I highly recommend this. This is very relaxing. 
This is super, I am not thinking about things that make me anxious. I am not thinking about things that make me depressed. I am thinking about how the heck I'm going to manipulate my leg hair into my vision. Oh, that worked out pretty well. Huh. It Now it kind of looks like tree bark, you know, like little knots. My intention was to make full spirals, but I'm not entirely sure I can pull that off. Speaking of social anxiety, which I mentioned earlier, well, maybe I edited that out, so I'm not really sure, but I did talk about a little bit of social anxiety earlier, and I have found a way that has great, uh, I have found a technique that has greatly reduced my social anxiety. Um, I call it embracing my inner Karen. Now, before you look at me, uh, I know exactly what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking, but let me explain myself. If these people can run around with just the sheer audacity that they have, and believe me, I've worked in customer service, I've dealt with these people. If they can run around with the sheer audacity to act like the world revolves around them, then surely I can ask a waiter politely for some ketchup if I need it. Like, imagine what you could do if you just had one-tenth of the blissfully ignorant confidence that these people have. Imagine what you could accomplish. And that's why I've decided to embrace my inner Karen. And I really just mean, like I said, you just need one tenth of that confidence. Imagine the things that you could accomplish. And it's worked so far, it has worked. As long as you don't take it too far. The, the, the point is not to become a Karen, it is to simply acknowledge that you can ask for things that you need if other people can ask for things that they definitely don't need with such confidence. There it is in all its glory. I know I said it looked like a tree trunk last time, but this time I really mean it. Look at that. Look at that little spiral. There she is. Beautiful. On to the next. I may or may not just have spent 15 minutes doing something without it recording. And I didn't notice until my camera said it was going to sleep. What I have discovered in the 15 minutes that I was not filming was that A, gelling the tip of this toothbrush seems to be the solution for everything and also using the head of the toothbrush <music> properly lubricated is the key to creating little tighter swirls. So this is the progress thus far. There's this little swoopy here that spawns another little swoopy. Um, and I'm uh, really just hoping at this point that this works out. And now I'm, uh, now I'm doing this little part, this uh, little, Heart. Uh, I really want you to comment down below what you think that I am attempting to make right now. Because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. To be honest, I'm just going to try my best to make it work. Uh, ooh. Well, I might have something after all. This is in no way, shape, or form going to be spatially correct. Hmm. I'm finding using the back of the toothbrush is also useful. Yeah, I'm gonna make a little tiny spiral right here if I can. Oop, you can't see that, sorry. I am unfortunately left-handed. Very, very left-handed. I'm as left-handed as some people are right-handed. I can do nothing. Nothing of use with my right hand, except for shift when I drive. And I don't even shift when I drive because I don't have a manual.
Before I show you more up close, anyone want to take a guess what this is supposed to be? Here it is in all its glory. Plenty of swirlies, and then we've got this little structure. This little structure here. There we go. Got a little, uh, got a little structure here, and some swirlies. Plenty of swirlies, including this very large swirly, which is kind of wrong, but you know, I'm using my leg here. Maybe give me a break. <laughs> Does anyone want to guess what this is? Oh, sorry. What what it's supposed to be? I'd really like to see someone who actually paints do this with leg hair. Heck, you could even start dyeing the little pieces to make it look like it. I want to see someone do that. It's not going to be me. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, you know the routine. I put out videos twi twi twice-ish a week usually thrift hauls and now other unrelated content. Goodbye. Yeah. Sticky. Ugh. I tasted like hair gel. Ugh. Oh, you're still here?